But first, we are learning new details about the suspect in the Highland Park mass shooting on July 4th. Police say 21 year old suspect has been charged with seven counts of first degree murder. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington and Bree, the alleged shooter appears to have a troubled past. Yeah, hi, Dave. Well, investigators revealed that the suspect had at least five firearms, including rifles seized from his father's home. And we're also hearing strong words from Vice President Harris, who says lawmakers need to do more about who can and cannot purchase guns, in particular assault weapons. Vice President Harris visiting the scene of the Highland Park mass shooting. We talk about it being senseless. It is senseless. It is absolutely senseless. At least seven people were killed and dozens more injured after a lone gunman fired more than 70 rounds into a crowd during this July 4th parade. Police say 21-year-old Robert Cremo III legally purchased multiple weapons, including the high-powered rifle used. There is no reason that we have weapons of war on the streets of America. We need reasonable gun safety laws. Officers call it a pre-planned attack. Evidence shows Cremo disguised himself as a woman to escape. And investigators do believe he did this to conceal his facial tattoos and his identity. Investigators also revealing several years ago, law enforcement responded to a threat at his home. The police removed 16 knives, a dagger, and a sword from Cremo's home. Other signs of trouble found on social media, where the suspect recently posted music videos referencing mass murder. Some who knew him say he was interested in weapons, but they did not imagine something like this. I could not see him doing that. I think that I have gone to school for 13 years with somebody that's capable of mass murder it makes no sense to me. The White House promising to stand by another community as it tries to heal from gun violence. And prosecutors say that more charges related to each of the shooting victims are expected, including attempted murder and aggravated battery. Dave. Bree, what else is the vice president asking for? Yeah, Vice President Harris really called out lawmakers during a speech yesterday saying Congress needs to do more and have more courage when it comes to renewing the assault weapons ban. Uh, Vice President Harris said an assault weapon uh, is designed to kill a lot of people quickly, so she's urging lawmakers uh, to take action. But she also noted that members of Congress recently came together to uh, pass that legislation aimed at improving gun safety. Okay, Bree Jackson with the latest from D.C. Thank you.